I'm still in the process of learning how to manage my time best. The advice I would give to a young model would be, fun fact, they're filming Victoria's Secret Fashion Show twice. He is going to propose to me. What you see on the screen, it's a little part of our life. If you don't want to do it, that's fine. It's always honestly makes me nervous before the job. It's just my opinion, okay? You free not to agree with my opinion. I'm not as scared to age. Thousands of amazing questions. So let's go, guys. What's up guys? We are back to Allegra's room and you know what time it is? Q&A time! It's funny because I always say most of my like intimate talks with the camera I always do in Allegra's room. A, it's because like the furthest room from the house so there is no noises. <laughs> B, I just love this room. I love how calming it is. It has natural light. So I always feel the most connected in this place to myself. So let's go, guys. I haven't done Q&A in a while. And I did a Q&A on in my Instagram recently. And I've got like thousands of amazing questions. And of course, you can't answer all of them in a writing form. It takes quite a bit of time. So I decided to pick also some interesting ones that are a little bit longer to explain and film a YouTube video. It's always fun to do those. And I feel like we also connect and have open discussions. And then feel free to ask any questions you like down below in the comments as well. I try to answer all of the comments not always have enough time but i really do try okay so let's just dive right into our questions i will pick probably about maybe six questions let's see how the time goes but six is my plan so let's do this first question how do you schedule a day and get things done love you well i love you back thank you so much uh it's flattering that you ask me about time management because i do feel like i'm not very good at this i'm still in the process of learning how to manage my time best i think what helps me is always sit down the night before let's say you know we're watching tv or something and i take like five minutes of my time I take my phone and I open notes and I just write the notes of all the things that I think I have to do tomorrow. I don't know why, but specifically in the evening, I have a little bit of clarity about things that I have to do tomorrow. Not the morning off. I don't know why when I wake up, I just feel so hectic already and my mind is running and I just feel like I have to rush into getting things done. So I feel like it helps a lot to schedule things the night before. So my tip is just to take five, 10 minutes the night before and write all the things down that you have to do the next day. Advice to a young model. I thought I'll pick this question because I've got a lot of modeling questions since probably people see me more as an expert in modeling since I spent most of my adulthood life uh, as a model and also my teenage years. Um, so I do think that advice that I will give now that would be so different from advice 15 years ago when I started I think now the times change with social media, with everything. So the advice I would give to a young model would be, well, I think that nowadays, the times where we saw the Asian know everything are far behind. So I feel like in order to succeed, you need to be in charge of your own career. The career and image is in your hands. So my tips would be create your unique style. You have to work hard on building your own portfolio, right? And nowadays with social media, you can reach out to so many beautiful talents and do your own research. So don't sit back and wait for things to happen and for agent to like create your portfolio be in charge of your own things be reliable you know i think that's always goes to at any time you always have to be punctual and reliable and i th also recommend to be in charge of your own marketing strategy so i think in the world of social media it's super important to develop your social media presence and be really engaging and have your own marketing strategy in the social media that will be my tip because i feel like nowadays there is such a big concentration of models and just overall talents that you kind of need to stick out and be unique people like already developed ready products so nobody wants to spend time to like help you to develop yourself so i feel like if you do 90% of the job and agent just have to be there and put you in front of the right people. It always makes it easier and you will be the winner among the line of other girls that will be there that will not be maybe us 
in charge of their own destiny as you. I just think that the client nowadays don't want just a pretty face, they want a story behind that pretty face too. So that will be my tip. <laughs> Next question. Share a memory from Victoria's Secret Fashion Show. <laughs> Let me think of a memory. I mean, I just will share emotions. A is like the way you imagine it to happen because obviously you see uh, the video at the Victoria's Secret fashion show is already edited and put together. So it feels very different from when you're there. Fun fact, they're filming Victoria's Secret fashion show twice because they kind of want to have a backup video in case they want to add it one piece and put it in another. So the actual clip that you see in the end is a combination of two fashion shows together. Uh, fun fact also, the audience in the show is different twice, so you will probably notice different people in the audience. I don't know if they're getting away with it and they're trying to hide it in the editing process, but yes, the people in the audience switch. Also, I remember it being very hectic and as someone who never been through this before, you just feel so nervous. There are so many girls in like a very small square meter because we're on the backstage. It's not that much space and we we're just all tucked in into the same room we had our outfits hanged on the racks with the name and the pic and your picture so you kind of had to hang out by your rack and wait for for your turn this will be my memories and i remember walking first time on stage feeling so light-headed and you know when you're so nervous that your muscles get so relaxed that you feel like each step is is so much effort so i remember it being like that but it's really with all the story that's been behind that getting that to that point of being there it's this moment of walking on stage is is really unforgettable and something that been amazing to experience just the feeling of like okay i got where i wanted to be this is how i remember it <laughs> let's go a little bit off topic of modeling this question did you expect your hobby to propose or was it a surprise? It was a surprise, but it was not as well because my husband shared with his friend that lives in New York that he is going to propose to me. And as always, of course, the friend went and told everyone. So one of the friends told me, I don't know why she did that. She basically told me like, oh, you're going to vacation, you know, with Valeria. And I said, yes. He goes, oh, oh, and you know, I think he's going to propose it. Like something in a very sarcastic way. But it made me think like, mm, why did she say that? Like, what is behind that? She kind of tried to be sarcastic and predicting but in the end i kind of felt that she said it because she probably heard about it and when he proposed to me i actually asked her i was like did you know and she's like yeah she told me who told her so a little tip to the guys don't share with your friends that you want to propose because someone will tell you secret for sure people are not very good at keeping secrets <laughs> as practice show <laughs> I also picked this question because I saw the interesting thoughts on social media when your daughter gets older. It's a very interesting question because it's, I thought about it multiple times and of course, you know, since she's so little, she can't really take her decision of being on screen or not which is normal. This is my career and this is my life. I've been a model in the public eye and now I'm running social media. So it's been the biggest part of my life being in front of people. This is who I am. Since I became a mom, I don't want to change my life completely 360 and reinvent myself and find another job. I'm happy where I am. I'm happy to do my job. Of course, since my blog is about my life, I feel like I have to share also my family life. And I honestly love to share motherhood tips and family life in general because I do feel like I have a lot of female audience who are interested to just have a little glimpse and maybe advice but I have to say I always very mindful of not oversharing things I think <laughs> maybe for someone it is oversharing but I'm always trying to be mindful of not always being there with the camera so what you see on the screen it's a little part of our life it's not majority of our life so I don't know I consider myself a very present mom i don't think i'm oversharing too much overall she enjoyed doing it and fun fact like two days ago i had to film interview for one of the brands that we did shoot together with my daughter and for whatever reason she wasn't in the mood after school and i really had to do that you know that 
filming for the interview and she was just acting out and as much as I wanted to do it with her I took a moment and I told myself you know what this is my career path and this is my choice to do those things if she doesn't feel like doing it I shouldn't be forcing her and I just told her listen if you don't want to do it that's fine you can go and you play in another room and you wait for me for 10 minutes mama's just gonna finish her work and come back if you feel like doing it great let's do it together so I always give her a choice and you know I've done few modeling jobs with her and it's always honestly makes me nervous before the job because when you shop at the modeling job you're responsible for yourself you know you're gonna be there until like 7 p.m you're not gonna be crying you're not gonna leave the job where like you come with a child you can't really promise the client anything probably there is some moms that are so crazy that they're forcing the children into it and you know with a lot of tears but to be honest like if i will be at a modeling job and my daughter will just on the middle of it say i don't want to do it and she cries and she can't do anything i'm not gonna force her like i'll just pack my bags say sorry you know you don't have to pay me anything and unfortunately leave but this is how it is like I always feel like whenever I approach her with filming or working I always come from a perspective is like okay we're there to have fun she wants to do it not from forceful perspective I hope that's answer your question but when she's older I mean I don't know I'll share with you the experience hopefully she's not gonna be too mad at me but I don't know if it would be me, if I would be in her place, I would be so happy that I have so many footage of beautiful moments with my family, us talking, us sharing thoughts, us cooking. I don't know, I wish to have those videos as a child because I have very little videos and photos from my childhood, which kind of makes you sad. She has plenty. This one is a very fun one. Thoughts on the VS fashion show coming back. I'm sure many of you already saw that VS coming back with fashion shows. How I feel about it. Honestly, I have mixed feelings. Seeing now VS with a different marketing strategy is uh, very strange because obviously you're used to the brand in a certain way. So now the change created mixed feelings in me. I'm definitely very happy that the stand unrealistic standards that used to be there are not there anymore. Totally happy for that. But I have to say, it's not just comes to upcoming VS fashion show, but just the overall modeling industry. I love the change. I'm all down for curvy models. I'm all down for all type of diversity. But to me, modeling is still, I don't know, maybe because I'm such an old generation of models. But to me, modeling is still has something to do with art. And for me, art is always about proportions and about the beauty. So I see now, nowadays, we reach the point where anyone can be a model. And talking about politically correct, <laughs> I'm not, you see. And I know I'm going to get in trouble for this, but I'm going to say it anyway. And it's just my opinion, okay? You free not to agree with my opinion, okay? That's just me sharing my thoughts and that's my channel. If you're not happy, you leave, okay? Leave right now. <laughs> so in my opinion, not everybody can be a model. I do think that you have to have something in you that is still catchy. As I said... It doesn't have to be an old school standard where you have to have uh, parameters 90, 60, 90, certain height, you know, you can be short, you can be curvy, but to me, the proportions has to be still there. The face still has to be beautiful. <laughs> there has to be a personality. Nowadays, I feel like they put to be a model anyone, even if you're the most boring person, even if you have nothing to say. <laughs> If, you know, you have nothing catching your appearance, to me, there has to be still something there. And I just hope that upcoming VS show will be about diversity, but still with a touch of aesthetics. I hope I am answering your question. Are you afraid of aging as a beautiful woman in a tough industry? I saw this question is very interesting and something I have to answer on. I turned 29 last week. Happy birthday to me! <laughs> so as being a woman in my last year of 20s, it's created a lot of mixed feelings in me. Not necessarily negative, but just like different feelings. A, like I feel sad to leave my 20s because it literally felt like a blink. And I feel like in your 20s, you can get away with a lot of things because you're still perceived young and still childish. So 
I a little bit sad to leave twenties. But a lot of my friends who are already in their 30s tell me how much better 30s are, how much more confidence you gain as a woman, uh, how much femininity you gain as well. So the 30s have been hyped up a lot by my friends, so I'm extremely excited for my 30s. I had a lot of thoughts on my age, and as you said, in the industry where things are so focused on age and on beauty standards, I'm not as scared to age. As I said, I was more concerned about doing things in the right time. Time. And as now being 29 years old, I feel like I have a somehow established career. I have a husband, I have my beautiful daughter. I have a lot of ideas and a lot of energy in me. So I do feel like I already done a lot for someone who's 29. So I don't feel like I'm missing out of things and running out of time. So very often I feel like women are scared of aging. A lot of times not even for the beauty appearance because everyone gets freaking old okay uh, not only you uh, but i think it's more about being in the right place at the right time at least for me so if you're scared to, of your age or aging ask yourself is it really about the age or it's about doing things at the right moment i think that's more about that and you know as i said like i've been before in an industry and i'm still is in partially in an industry that focus on beauty but now developing more my career in a different way where I connect with people more personally and I want people to know me for other things rather than just looking at the beautiful picture. So I do feel like my career still will be there even if my young appearance will not be there. I do feel like I have a lot to say and maybe with time I'll have even more life experience to share. So no, I'm not afraid to age so far. That's my answer. <laughs> Plus... The beauty industry is progressing and I do believe that people got to look so much younger nowadays. Like even my mom says like before the women in their 40s were like grandmas. Now the women in their 40s is like a young flowers. Okay guys, I think our Q&A is coming to the end because I honestly have to run, pick up my girl. Also upload the video for editing. <laughs> But anyway, happy we got to catch up on some Q&A. Feel free to ask me any question you like down below in the comments. So I hope to see you soon in the next video. Ciao.